Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Saturday edition and it is July the 6th, 2024. And we are in Ephesians chapter 2, picking up today in verse 11 in this uh, classic chapter from the Apostle Paul. He says to us, don't forget that you Gentiles used to be outsiders. You were called uncircumcised heathens by the Jews who were proud of their circumcision, even though it affected only their bodies and not their hearts. In those days, you were living apart from Christ. You were excluded from citizenship among the people of Israel, and you did not know the covenant promises God had made to them. You lived in this world without God and without hope, but now you have been united with Christ Jesus. Once you were far away from God, but now you have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. For Christ himself has been brought has brought peace to us. He united Jews and Gentiles into one people when, in his own body on the cross, he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. He did this by ending the system of law with its commandments and regulations. He made peace between Jews and Gentiles by creating in himself one new people from two groups. Together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups to God by means of his death on the cross and our hostility toward each other was put to death. He brought this good news of peace to you Gentiles who were far away from him and peace to the Jews who were near. Now all of us can come to the Father through the same Holy Spirit because of what Christ has done for us. So now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family Together, we are his house, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, and the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself. We are carefully joined together in him, becoming a holy temple for the Lord. Through him, you Gentiles are also being made part of this dwelling where God lives by his spirit. So Paul goes back and talks about this physical matter of circumcision to say to the Gentiles and to the Jews that that simply doesn't matter, the physical circumcision. What is important to God is a circumcision of the heart. And that can only be brought about, that sign of a commitment, that sign of a covenant between us and God can only be brought about by the acceptance of the act of sacrifice that Jesus gave us on the cross. Here's where we get hung up. We think that there's something physically that we can do to make ourselves right with God. We think if we do just enough good works, if we give just enough, if we are kind just enough, if we do all of these things just enough, God will accept us. We need to be reminded, and the Apostle Paul does this incredibly here, that there is nothing that we can ever do ourselves in our own bodies to be accepted by God. The only thing on our part that's needed to be done is to say yes to Jesus. He took care of everything else. He is the one that paid the price. He is the one that everything fell on, that the sin of the entire world, that your sin nature and my sin nature fell upon him. And he took care of that rift that was between God and man. What do we need to do? As I said before, we need to say yes to him. Paul does an incredible job in this wonderful chapter of talking about the difference between works and grace. He says again, for by grace you are saved. And because of that, as he closes this chapter, he says, you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. We are no longer strangers and foreigners. We have not been, we are no longer separated from God. We are part of his adopted family. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, you are part of the family of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you once again for these wonderful words from the Apostle Paul. 
where he so clearly made it easy to understand that it's not about our works. It's all about grace, that it's not about what we could ever do. It's about what Jesus did. Help us to realize and to fully accept that today, we pray in his name, in the name of our Savior, Jesus. Amen. We'll have a super Saturday. Look forward to seeing you next time. Also want to in, invite you to join us on this holiday weekend at West Shore tomorrow at 11 a.m. as we continue in our uh, summer teaching series, Sunshine from the Psalms. We'll be taking a look at Psalm 100 and we'll be specifically looking at the act of worship. What does it mean? What it's all about? And kind of more importantly, what is it not? Join us if you can tomorrow at 11 a.m. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.